I'm Haley with Silverman Branding and Design, and today I'm going to show you how to make a custom bottle or custom container using Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Dimension because uh, Photoshop doesn't let you do 3D stuff anymore. So we're going to make this for 2022, an updated tutorial because I figured it out. Um, Photoshop really chose violence when they decided <laughs> to cancel the 3D. The reason I'm doing this is because I have a client and I found some Photoshop templates that I could use. So here was one that I had downloaded from Envato Elements. But you can see when I open it up, there's nothing here. I can zoom in and out and it shows that I'm zooming, but there's no artboard, there's nothing, there's just the, the labels here. So maybe I could fly blind, but um, I'm a designer and I need to see visual things. So this isn't gonna work for me anymore. These useless, useless templates. So now I'm gonna have to make my own, which I already have luckily the bottle shape flat, straight on, and this is exactly what you need. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into Illustrator. I'm gonna make a new template. Um, it doesn't really matter, but maybe I'll just choose web and just go with this shape. Yeah, we can work with this. It'll be fine. Um, so what I'm going to do now is take this mock-up that I have, drop it in, um, shrink it down. I'm going to embed it because that's just how I like to do it. All right. And then we're going to get it going and lock that layer. So now I'm gonna create the other layer. This will be guide. This will be my art layer. What I'm gonna do is draw a rectangle around the shape so that we can get it completely centered. Um, I found that this was really helpful when creating that outline. So what I'm gonna do is get that right there, come up to the top situate that at the top and I will say that I downloaded a cap because no way like I'm so new to 3d I would not be able to do that so I did cheat a little bit I don't know how to tell you how to make a cap but I will show you where I got that at a later point okay so now that we have this shape we're going to turn on our rulers command R and we're going to drag to the middle and you can see if you hit command Y. Okay, there's our guide point. Make it intersect with that and hit command Y again to turn that view off. And there you have it. Now we don't need this rectangle anymore, but we will need to start with the pen tool, my favorite tool. And I'm gonna start a little bit inside the cap because I do want them to interlock. Um, and then yeah, from here, I'm just going to trace the edges of this bottle. And I don't really care about the water drips that just kind of came with the tutorial, or not the tutorial, I'm making a tutorial. This is what came with the Photoshop mock-up template, which has pretty much been the only world I've ever known. This whole 3D endeavor has been something that's new to me. Um, but I'm excited to learn it. I did a poll on my Instagram, like 3D kind of scares me. Do I hire somebody or do I just learn it? And everybody said, learn it. So here I am doing it. I don't care about these bumps on the bottom. I don't care about it being like that realistic. Okay, so that's gonna be the outside of the container. But, sorry, that's my cat. He's probably gonna, what? So now that we have the outside of the container, we need to create the inside because glass is hollow where the liquid is. So we need to create that. So what I do might not be the most conventional, but I make a copy. I just hit option nudge and it creates a copy. Do one nudge back. And then what I'm gonna do is make this stroke big. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll try 10 points for this. And then I'm going to go to Object, Path, Outline, Stroke. And that's where you see now that there's an outline. You could also do this using Offset Path. 
Um, what we need to do now is delete this outside membrane because we don't need it. So I'll use the, we'll use the cut tool, the scissors tool. You can hit C and then delete the outside layer. And then we already have a line here. Select this and click there. We'll go back down to the bottom and we'll make this align with that line. And then we can select both holding shift and clicking and then click join. So now it's one complete shape. Yay. So now I'm going to take this and we're going to go to our menu, which is effect 3D materials and extrude and bevel. And it's going to give you this really terrible line as the default, but um, instead of extrude, click revolve. And now it looks like a weird communion glass. So you change the edge, at least for me, um, I did the left edge. So now I'll create the right edge. You can see that it creates this 3D shape. So what we need to do now is go to File, Export Selection, the Export Panel. So you'll choose Asset, I'm gonna name this Bottle. I'm going to choose the Client folder that this goes in. And then you're gonna to wanna to set this as OBJ um, or Object. This is the format that is easiest to import into Dimension. Oh uh, yeah, it's that easy, just click Export. So now um, here's the bottle cap that I downloaded earlier. And then there's the bottle shape that I just created just now. So now we're gonna open up uh, Dimensions. All right, so I already have this canvas set up. Um, I found that the default's kind of small, so I like to make the canvas a little bit larger. Um, we could fit to selection or we could do 100% and then size it up as much as you need. Um, I like the higher resolution, but you can change it at any time. So now that we're here, 3D dimension, I'm gonna drop in the bottle first, bring it up to our foreground, use our tool here to give us a better perspective. Use the ring around tool, okay. So now I wanna add the bottle cap Oh my gosh, it's so small. Okay, that's not a problem because we can lift it up and we can scale it. Let's try this. Yay, we're scaling. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, so now we're gonna move it up and select these two layers. So actually I'm gonna rename this. So this will be the cap. This is the bottle. There, now we won't get confused. So select both of these and then come here to the alignment and we will adjust those. So now hitting this tab and this tab centers it on the X and Y axis. And then we can come back to just the cap. Um, I'm gonna rotate it above so I can get a better look at the size and then I can scale it down. So, oh, we lost the lock, okay. Let's try four. That's looking a little bit better, but it's still kind of big. Like it's not sitting how I want it exactly. So, four. That's a little too small. So what about 4.5? Let's see. That looks, pretty good. Maybe a little bit smaller. Ooh, maybe 4.25. That way we don't have so many seams. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I scroll down to these standard materials. I grab glass and I apply it to the bottle. So now you can see it's changed. It's looking a little more reflective. And then for the cap, I'm going to choose metal. I think that would be the best option here. Um, brass might be close, but the client has a gold top. Um, so you could see how brass looks and try it and be like, maybe that's not quite it. So 
let's try metal on there now. Okay, maybe we go with metal. So we can come in here and we can change the color once the property has been applied. I'm gonna kind of play around until it's a gold color that I think works. I want it a little bit darker. Yeah, I think that looks good. All right, now I'm gonna come back to the bottle and you could um, click this arrow, come in here, and if you had a different color glass, like say you had a blue glass or something, you could adjust it, but I need clear for this. So that is that. 